One good way of, of producing G-code for the new uh, CNC plasma cutter we have is to use a, a program called SheetCam. SheetCam is, is, is pretty easy to use, but it does need a DXF file. You can produce a DXF file several ways. On this little demonstration, I want to show you how you use Fusion 360 to produce a DXF file for SheetCam. So I've got uh, Fusion 360 open here, and uh, we'll start a drawing, and we'll draw on the top. doesn't matter which side, but that's handy. So we'll create a sketch, and there we go. Load this down. I'll go ahead and make a little square here. Outline of our, of our bracket. It'll be five inches on the side. So five, ten, five. Alright, and let me shrink this down a little bit, and I'm going to put a reference line. circle this will give it our our brackets of shape to it I can use the scissors and uh, clip away all this that we don't need and there's our bracket let's let's go ahead and put some holes that look make it look a little nicer put one there one there, and you put a little one there. All right, and uh, we use a mirror <clears throat> and repeat those on the other side. Mirror line. Okay. Now we don't need this anymore. So I'll delete, delete that. Now if I click this. That's our bracket. Now, <clears throat> we'll need to make it into a body. We'll open up the sketches here. Watch this up here. Um, if I take this, I extrude it, and I'll make it a, a 0 0.0625, 16th of an inch. So our bracket is now this, a sixteenth of an inch thick. <laughs> All right. Now what we can do is we have our we have our bracket, so we'll just hit P to project it, and we'll select the geometry. And if you notice how another sketch showed up over here. I'm going to say OK. I'll take this sketch. I'm going to right click it. And say save as DXF. So I'm going to file name of let's say uh, P R A C K bracket and save it. Oh, uh, hang on. Replace it. Yes, we'll replace it. And uh, now let's go. Here's sheet cam and uh, let's say file new part bring in a drawing new part of drawing of course and what we call it we call it bracket open and that's we get zero interesting thing is fusion 360 for some reason puts the parts in rotated a uh, 180 degrees so we don't have to Come down here to A, the, the, the rotation angle, and we'll type in 180, hit enter, and now our bracket's all set. And uh, we could uh, keep doing this. All right, now let's see. We'll go into operation, plasma cut. Uh, say outside offset we don't use. We'll take the default layer zero. This defaults to tool one, which 
is a correct tool for our particular use. We'll say OK. And so it produced tool one. We can uh, now we can just take this and produce a G code. Let's give it a bracket dot tap. That's good. And we've saved it. So now we can take bracket dot tap and bring it over to our plasma cutter and away we go.